just gonna film a whole bunch of crap, and then maybe something will be worth putting on the internet. Mm. So, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, I brought up, briefly, that I wanted to tell you about the time that I smuggled my fish through airport security, and then I never actually told you about it, which was kind of a jerk move, because, I mean, how do you know I'm telling the truth, right? I could have just said that to draw you in and then lie to you. I did indeed smuggle my fish through airport security, and this is the tale of that. <clears throat> I was traveling from school to go back home, and I have to fly because they're considerably far apart, and um, I had a fish and I was flying over Christmas break, and you cannot leave a fish alone by itself for like a month. It, it would just eat its own tail or something. I don't know what fish do when they're bored. So I decided to take it with me, or otherwise it would die. So I obviously did not want to be responsible for the death of a small beta fish. So clearly, I tried to bring it to the airport. I went to the US Airway counter, who I was flying with, and I said, hey, I have a fish. And they were like, oh, it's cute. And they were like, there's a $50 pet fee. I was like, um, that's kind of a lot of money. Actually, I think it was 100. Is there any way I could just, you know, not pay that? And they're like, well, as long as you can get it through security, we're fine with it. And I was like, okay, well, I will do that thing then. Or I'm walking up to security with a fish bowl in my hands, and all of my luggage on my back, and I'm holding him. I walk up to security, hand them my little mm, ticket and my passport, right? And they, they just stare at the fish like, what, what is what is this thing that you bring us? Is this a gift? Is this an offering? I do not understand. And so I said, hi, can I get this through security? And you know, it's kind of a small fish bowl cube thing. And they were like, well, you know that there's only like six six ounces of fluid allowed on planes. And I was like, that that is a point that you just made. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw this older security, airport security guy coming around the line. And he walks up to me, he grabs my elbow, and he goes, ma'am, can you come here for a second? I was like, oh god, they're gonna think that I, it's a fake fish and it's a bomb fish or something. I was like, this could be bad. So I walk over with him, I'm starting to shake because I'm getting a little bit nervous, thinking I'm in trouble. And he goes, here. And he pulls a Ziploc bag out of his pocket and he's like, put the fish in this. And I was like, what? He's like, put the, put the fish in the bag. And I was like, put the fish in the, but he's in a bowl, bowl's bigger than the bag. And he's like, okay. Just go to the bathroom, dump the fish into the bag, and put it in your sweatshirt, and, and try and walk through the security line. And I was like, well, okay, but, but what happens to a fish? Won't he get stressed when he's shoved in a pocket? He's like, as long as you get the fish through, and if he is alive, you can take him on the plane. So I was like, okay. So I go to the bathroom. I dump out like basically all of the fish water, poor thing, and I dump the fish into this Ziploc bag with about this much water, like not even enough to cover his, his flowy little tail, and I'm like, oh god, please don't die, please don't die. If I kill you trying to go through security, I will feel like an awful fish slash pet owner slash human being citizen of the world. I put his, his empty bowl now into my bag, which by the way smelled of fish, and then caused my backpack to smell like fish for like at least a month, so that was gross. And I go back through security again, and I have, I'm wearing a sweatshirt, and I stick the Ziploc bag kind of in my sweatshirt, and I'm holding it with my other hand. And then so I begin to go through the security line. I'm shaking really badly at this point, because I'm like, dear everything, if I do not get this fish through, I could actually get in like considerable trouble for this. So I put all my stuff on the security line thing. Then I begin the walk through the metal detector archway of doom thing. And I'm holding the fish, and I'm shaking, and they're like, come on, come on. And I see all of these airport security, like in this entire airport, crowded around, like whispering like, oh my god, what is she doing, is she doing? I walk through the metal detector, and the fish was not a bomb. It surprised me. I got through okay, and I grabbed my stuff, and I looked over, and the older, the older security guy was like, nice. And then I ran to the bathroom, dumped the fish back into his little bowl, and quickly sanitized the water and all that with the little drops, and everything was fine. And then I took him on the plane, and I cannot tell you how many little kids wanted to meet me and meet the fish, because I had a fish, and no one else brings fish on a plane. Fish, 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 how many times can I say that word? So that is the time that I smuggled my fish blue, B-L-O-O, -O, like foster home for imaginary friends, onto a plane. By the way, I did have a connection in Charlotte, North Carolina, and so many people were so happy to meet me because of my fish. I've never had that much social interaction in an airport before. They were like, oh, you brought a fish? What? 
What's his name? It was amazing. It was amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. <laughs> Oh, and a quick thank you to E. Lizzie Books for putting me in her video and making all of you people, not making you, you didn't have to, but, and letting you know that I exist so that you could subscribe to me. Lots of hand motions. About $125 for the pet fee. Bless you.